This is the Partashore test training video by Advanced Global Health. The Partashore test is a rapid swab test used to assess the risk of preterm delivery within 7 or 14 days. Assessing the risk of preterm birth is a major diagnostic challenge. Up to 30% of patients presenting with signs and symptoms of threatened preterm labour may be admitted to the hospital. But spontaneous preterm birth occurs in only 5-12% to of pregnancies. Therefore, an accurate test to predict the risk of preterm birth is important to ensure treatment is provided promptly in these cases or to prevent unnecessary interventions when preterm birth is less likely to occur. Improving the diagnostic pathway for patients with suspected preterm labour will improve patient management and experience as well as reducing unnecessary costs. The Partashore test detects the placental alpha microglobulin 1 protein. Recent clinical studies have demonstrated a strong correlation between a positive PAMG1 test and imminent delivery in patients presenting with threatened preterm labour and intact membranes. The PAMG1 protein is made by the placenta, so it's found in very high concentrations in amniotic fluid and very low concentrations in background cervicovaginal fluid. When delivery is imminent, changes in the membranes allow trace amounts of PAMG1 to cross the membranes where it can be detected by the Partashore test. The test has highly sensitive antibodies which detect the protein at concentrations above 1 nanogram per mil. Multiple clinical studies consistently show both a high positive predictive value and negative predictive value for the Partashore test meaning that the test is a highly accurate predictive tool for preterm delivery. Partashore has a 96% negative predictive value for delivery within 7 days and 89% for delivery within 14 days. The test has a 76% positive predictive value for delivery within 7 days and 81% for delivery within 14 days. The Partashore test is intended for use on pregnant women with signs and symptoms of early preterm labour, intact amniotic membranes and minimal cervical dilation at or below 3 cm. Partashore has a wide gestational age limit and can be used from 20 weeks to 36 weeks and 6 days. The contraindications include advanced cervical dilation over 3 cm, ruptured membranes, significant blood on the swab, and if vaginal disinfectant solutions or medicines have been used within six hours of collecting the sample. Please ensure you read the IFU and the standard operating procedure in full. Partashore is the only preterm labour test which does not require an invasive speculum examination. Vaginal examination shortly before specimen collection does not lead to a false positive Partashore test result. Partashore can be used in the presence of semen, infection, urine and trace amounts of blood. It is also a self-contained kit which provides rapid, qualitative results without the need for additional equipment. The test is a simple four-step procedure which involves collecting the sample, rinsing the sample in solvent, testing the sample and reading the result. The following video will go through these steps in more detail. The Partashore test kits are packaged separately with a quick guide for the test procedure on the packet. Detailed instructions and information can be found on the package insert. Each test kit contains three items, a sterile collection swab, a test strip sealed in a foil pouch and a vial containing the solvent solution. Before testing, wear gloves and find a timer. To start the procedure, hold the solvent vial by its cap and shake well to ensure the liquid collects at the bottom of the vial. Open the solvent vial and carefully place it in a vertical position. To collect the sample from the vagina, use only the sterile swab provided. A speculum examination is optional as it's not required. Ensure the swab tip does not touch anything before inserting it into the vagina. Hold the swab in the middle of its shaft and while the patient is lying on their back, carefully insert the swab into the vagina until the fingers contact the skin, or no more than 5-7cm to seven centimeters deep. After 30 seconds to ensure full saturation of the swab, 
Remove the swab and immediately place the tip into the solvent vial. Rinse the swab in the vial by rotating for 30 seconds. Remove the swab from the vial and dispose of it. Next, tear open the foil pouch containing the test strip and holding the green end of the test strip, insert the white end into the solvent vial with the arrows pointing downwards. Leave the test strip in the vial for five minutes or until two lines are clearly visible in the test region. Place the test strip on a clean, dry surface to read the results. Do not read the results after 10 minutes have passed since inserting the test strip into the vial. A positive result will show two lines, both a control line and a test line. The result is still positive even if the line is faint or broken. If only one line is visible, the test result is negative, indicating that no biomarker has been detected. If no lines are visible, the test is invalid. Please note the colour intensity of the lines may vary. The part assure test should always be used in conjunction with other clinical information from their evaluation and other diagnostic procedures, such as cervical examination, assessment of uterine activity and the evaluation of other risk factors. Part assure test results are qualitative and not quantitative. No quantitative interpretation should be made based on the strength of the test or control lines. Inaccurate results may be caused by not following these instructions exactly, using materials not supplied with the test, for example using alternative swabs, using expired or damaged test kits, storing the strips incorrectly, performing the test when significant blood or lubricants are present on the sample, or performing the test within six hours after the use of vaginal disinfectants or medicines. The following slides show a summary of the procedure and examples of frequently asked questions. Thank you for completing the Part Assure test training. If you have any questions, please refer to the IFU, your standard operating procedure, or contact us at info at aghealth.co.uk.